Greetings, this is Father Michael with the Word of the Week. This week's word is forgotten. We are in the midst of celebrating nine-day novena to Saint Jude, who is the patron of impossible, desperate, or, and I love this word, forgotten causes. Now, in order to understand this association with St. Jude, we go all the way back to his story. There's lots of legends and stories and narrative around St. Jude, but what we know for sure is that he was a relation of Jesus himself. He's one of those followers of Christ, one of those apostles sent out by Christ who was related to Jesus. And so you might think, like Peter or St. John or even the Apostle Thomas, that he would have a kind of great devotion, a great sort of cult in the church in which huge churches and peoples would revere him as their patron saint. And yet, and yet, until very recently, Saint Jude was forgotten. (laughs) Not one of those saints which are in the marquee, if you will, of the apostles. Why is this? Well, you have to consider his name. You see, in the original language, Jude and Judas are the same. We certainly distinguish them in English, but in many other languages, including the original, Jude and Judas are the very same name. And so what happens is when Jesus is betrayed by Jude, Judas, his name becomes a little bit sullied. You don't want to be identified as a Jude, as a Judas, as a betrayer of Jesus. And so the devotion to St. Jude outside of the particular places he went was simply non-existent. For centuries the devotion to St. Jude was simply forgotten. It would be like having a kind of devotion or a saint to a young man who was named Hitler or Stalin simply because he had the unfortunate case of being named after a notorious tyrant. Now, what happens? St. Jude, over the centuries, then, precisely because he is forgotten, becomes the patron saint of those who feel like their prayers, their situation, the impossibility of their circumstances, has been forgotten by God's grace and providence. And in many ways, all of us can relate to praying so diligently and so focusedly and so strenuously about a particular intention, a particular need, a particular aspiration. And it seems like God's not answering our prayers. God has simply forgotten us. And St. Jude then is a wonderful companion on our journey, a a heavenly, a, a heavenly powerful intercessor who can come before the throne of God and place our forgotten, our impossible, our desperate cases before his relative in order that he might look kindly upon us. Here at St. Dominic's we have the beautiful shrine of St. Jude and every year thousands of people come to the novena to pray, to light candles, to bring their forgotten causes before the Lord. Certainly with the Lord no one and no need is ever forgotten and yet we can in our own sense of disconnection from God, feel like we are alone. Our patron and this great novena to St. Jude reminds us that we are never, ever alone. We are never forgotten. I invite you to join us for our novena, either by coming to the church or through the live stream. Our great shrine of St. Jude is a beacon, a magnet bringing those with cares and concerns to the very throne of our loving God. Through the intercession of St. Jude, may we recognize that no one is forgotten in God's eyes. And even when we feel that sense of abandonment, even when we feel that sense of isolation or feel alone, to know there is a saint by our side helping us along the journey, that no one is ever forgotten that our Lord loves us and always is our blessing, our life, and our joy. Saint Jude, pray for us. Amen.